I hope you're all having a good day today. I just want to share a thieving training method that's not very well known. I guess you could call it like an alternative method to training thieving because people don't really do it as much as other methods like blackjacking or pyramid plunder. Um, the only requirement for this is 50 thieving, but it helps to have a higher thieving level and higher agility. You actually don't even need any items to start doing this method, although I would recommend having a games necklace to get there faster, having 10 GP to buy a stethoscope, and having some food in your bank because you are going to be taking a lot of damage. It's very simple to get there. So what you want to do is grab your games necklace, right click, teleport to Birth Orb. You're going to run south into the bar. There's going to be a little trap door. Climb down that, and you are there. Then you're going to want to take your 10 GP, run over to Martin Thwaite, the guy who sells the thieving skill cape, and buy a stethoscope from him. Now, I'm not sure if this actually helps your odds of cracking the safe or not. It does, supposedly. It could just be a placebo effect, but supposedly it helps, so, and it can't hurt to have it in your inventory. I mentioned before that it helps to have a higher agility level in cracking the safes, and once again, I'm not sure if this is just placebo effect or what, but supposedly, from what I've heard, it helps you take less damage. So the XP rates can vary greatly depending on what your thieving level is. So at level 50 thieving, you can expect to fail a lot, but at level 99 thieving, you have a 93% success rate of cracking the safes. Because of the high variance of success rates based on your thieving level, it's really hard to accurately say how much XP per hour this is, but if you did a perfect hour without missing anything, your rate would be around 90k XP an hour, Although more realistically, at lower levels, you can expect to get about 20k XP an hour, plus the gems on top of that. The only loot that you will get from this is either coins or gems. The coins come in drops of 20 GP and 40 GP, and the gems can range anywhere from sapphire to diamond, although you will hardly ever get diamonds. You're, most of the time you're going to end up getting sapphires, emeralds, and rubies. If you're an Iron Man, this has to be one of the best ways in the game to get gems. As you can see, it only takes a few minutes to fill up an inventory filled with gems, and you can just rinse and repeat this until you get as many as you need. If you have a higher thieving level, I would not recommend this method for training, unless you're an Iron Man trying to get gems. Otherwise, I would not recommend this method just due to the low XP rates, and you'd be way better off just doing uh, blackjacking menafight thugs or doing pyramid plunder up until 99. But if you're in the mid-level range, like say 50 to 60, this, is, this could definitely be a good training method compared to the alternatives. Because, you know, it'd be nice every once in a while to have a break from thieving from stalls or pickpocketing master farmers. I hope I was able to help anyone out today. If you have any feedback or there's anything I forgot, please let me know in the comments below. I really want to know how I could improve this video and improve videos in the future. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you again soon.